Hi all, Mana Egg here. If you enjoy the content, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe catch the runs and playthroughs live over on Twitch TV forward slash Mana Egg. See you soon, and enjoy the video. Now annoyingly, I was almost done with a huge chunk of the VODs, and I was just recording an intro, or rather I just have an intro line to record. And I woke up and my voice is like this, so I don't think that's happening yet. But once that's done, I should be able to mass render, I'd say about a third of all of the streams that I've done so far. Uh, so yeah, those shouldn't be too far off for once. And I've got it in a good format and a template now where I'm quite happy, where I sort of transition between all the breaks I take and things like that. So hopefully should make for a, an okay VOD viewing experience over on my YouTube. Right, anyway, uh, I did do some stuff offline uh, with this game. Nothing story-based. Uh, I did find the person who sells the chunks and stuff like that. And obviously we left off when I'd got this to level 10. And then realized that actually I needed it to be level 8 so I could get this thing by using one of the boss souls. So I sat and did that last night. And yeah, so we now have a new weapon, but I can't use it because I'm lacking the strength stats. Uh, it needs 24, and I think maybe I'm on 22 at a push. So we're going to try and get that because I want to see what that's like one handed. Uh, yeah, so... You have a heart of gold. The only place we have left to do is Boletaria, or Boletarian Palace. Now, I actually missed something here. I'm pretty sure I have the key, but uh, I'm not 100% on that. But basically, I found out that before this boss fight, there's a door somewhere that I could open and that will uh, have allowed me to summon some aid against the penetrator, which obviously I didn't need <laughs> because somehow I absolutely dominated that fight. Even though I had like, you know, a bad weapon in terms of uh, level. God, we can we can really do a number on these guys now. And everything seems to drop a lot of full moon grass now, which is even better for us. What rings do we oh I've got flame resistance on. No, we don't need that. Let's put on a thief ring maybe, see if we can get backstab. I like how that guy's literally looking at me as I do the backstab. It's like, hey, I see that guy. I forgot they do that. I forgot they can heal. Well, they seem to be dropping full moon grass quite consistently. And quite a lot of it. This is not a bad place to farm. Uh... Oh my god, how we just completely missed this guy. Yeah, so apparently there's like a door around here. Uh, that we can open and it would have brought out the knight that we'd saved the life of a couple times. Well, and I nearly killed uh, in my playthrough. I'm not sure where it is because he said it's like on the way to this boss. 
and you're able to summon him for help for the penetrator. So I'd assume it's got to be fairly near here. Because, I mean, that's the boss door, so... Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look around then, see if we can find him. I don't know if he's still going to be in there or what, but... It seems a bit annoying to get all that way and then not, not get the benefit from it. And it's a trophy as well, so I know for next time. Because I'm going to look at doing a new game plus for this for sure. Because it's been really good fun. I'm just not sure where this door is that I was that was referenced when I was looking into this. Because you rescue him down here. Which is fine. I'm wondering if there's like a door up here that I could open that I didn't have. Oh, I didn't see, rather, when I was first running through. I'm not going to waste too much time on this if I can't find it, then I'll just look up where he is uh, another time. Because I definitely want to try and make a load of progress on this today. Because uh, I, I believe we're really, really close to the end now. So it would feel like a waste if I wasn't gunning for it. Oof. I mean, I could see them putting the, uh, spawn for uh, this guy quite far in purely to make you like work for it right but seems a little far out yeah I think I'll look for him off stream sometime Let's, uh, let's head back and progress then. We've got a lot of souls from just clearing out this area as well. A lot of souls, a lot of full moon grass. Cool. It was worth, worth a little look around anyway. I feel it was anyway. Let's go. Yeah, because obviously this is the boss room, right? So there's no way that the summon point for him would be in here. You needed like a key of some kind, and that would give us what we need. So we did try to come in here for a bit and we got absolutely nailed because I saw those red. Oh no, I think I saw them and went, well, maybe we should make some progress elsewhere. And it didn't help that, uh, obviously at the time I, was, I suggested that because I was so, uh, what's it called? My weapon was so underleveled and I had quite a struggle at times with, uh, with the penetrator in terms of my damage output. Bleed. There we go. We'll give you the old two hand treatment then. How do you like them apples? Oh, he's got the penetrating sword. 
Crystal Lizard is being very patient. I mean, okay. <laughs> he's really giving it all he's got, that one, isn't he? He's gonna be able to... There we go. I feel like he's gonna be the most annoying one to deal with here. Oh, he's backing off. Pretty sure this is how I played Mass Effect 1 on Legendary, or not Legendary, on the hardest difficulty. Oh, glad I moved for a second. Yeah, this is too slow clearing amount like this. Oh, I don't have the soul remains, because they'd go for the soul remains if I did. Oh, this is perfect, actually. She's put herself forward here. And we got the bleed as well. She's not messing about with those arrows. That really hurt. Who throws an arrow? Honestly. What? What? She dropped. I bet that's got to be like an okay bow. Yeah, it's another white bow. This is the enemy I'm not looking forward to, because I feel- oh, Yeah, he's not going to give as much of a window to go for him. But, I might have a plan for this. Oh no, I, I can't because I don't have the weapon with me. I was going to suggest I bring the, uh, the what's it called with me. Oh, he knows I'm here. It's gonna go get the storm weapon and then just hit him with the R2s and see if that slowly whittled him down. Yeah, he doesn't seem to, uh, what's it called for a while? Oh, risky. Jesus, he does like half, over half my health immediately. But yeah, he, he recovers so quickly. He doesn't on that attack though, so he, maybe we just wait for that opening then. There we go. I was overcomplicating it, as usual. Are we going to get a big shield here, or are we going to get... Uh, that looks like a shield to me. Yeah. Tower shield. Okay. Let's keep going. That's what we're here to do, right? get this. Oh, that's good. I think we need some more of those at some point. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Can I, like, you want to come outside? Yeah. No? Okay, fine. Just move to a position where that guy can't snipe us then, I guess. Oh, that's my own fault. I had the wrong healing item equipped. Oh, my script's not working. Hang on. Hmm. 
Nice. Problem is I just died. Uh, which doesn't sound like a bad thing, but that's gonna mess with the uh, the world tendency, isn't it? To be fair, we're getting passive healing. I don't know if those red demons are gonna be there. No, they're not anymore. I assume that could be because they had white world tendency. It's an unbelievable farm for those healing items. Absolutely mental. Okay. Seems to consistently drop those. That's useful. Not for me now, but it's useful in general. Maybe we should go back to the Nexus. That's a better fight. Can you not? Be a little crossbow. By the sounds of it. It was a crossbow. Oh, we got some throwing knives at this as well. Oh god. Ow! Gotta be careful of the throwing knives, actually. Wow, that didn't kill us. I mean, we took no damage for that fall, but they sure as hell did. Oh, oh, oh my word. Oh, that's, no, I'm stuck. Oh, we got very lucky there that he fell down. We could just run him round. <laughs> we just push him over at the end as well. Any more for any more. Ooh, there's a ladder. Oh, no, not more of these. Oh, wait, it's the blue dragon. If we kill this blue dragon here, does that then mean we can go back and get all that treasure from the early game? Because there's a blue and a red one. Oh, that does not look healthy for us. He can move his bloody face. Okay, we can whistle him down here, but I imagine it's not the quickest way. And maybe we can do something about that tail. Let's see if he'll toast them for us. He does. What a helpful guy. This guy just sauntering in. Yeah, I don't think we're getting across the bridge in the same style as before. You know what could be a good ring to have right now? The fire resistance ring. Maybe I should uh, do something with that.
Oh wait, we do actually have to go that way. I guess maybe it is the same. You know what, just for the... Oh no, we want cling ring and fire ring, I think. Just in case we get caught. So we know he doesn't... Yeah, so we're... We need to kind of like follow the flow. So he doesn't flame right below himself, okay. Oh, he does. He does toast down here. What the hell? Is it going to reach this far? Okay, that wasn't that bad. Not as bad as me trying to kill this lizard, apparently. This is legendary. Oh, it's Esther Soup. It's a very moldy bread right there. That cheese has got less mold than the bread. Wouldn't recommend eating that. I assume it's gonna try and torch me here as well. No? Where's he gone? He's landed on another building nearby, hasn't he? Yeah, that, that would definitely constitute another building. Knight shield, knight sword. Is this a shortcut? Does that open those double doors? Yeah, cool. And that's the double doors that we saw down there. Right, so if we die, we have a shortcut. He says if. Like, figure out what his aggro range is for this fire attack and where it lands. And... Okay, so he's kind of like torching that whole section there. He seems to do it again backwards. So that's not terrible. I think we can work with this. So we bait it out. Wait for him to do it ac across again. And as soon as he's done, we hope for the best. Hang on. I don't trust this. Yeah. I was right not to trust that. But I still took the risk anyway. Oh, no! It's you, is it? My father is up above. Ha! Well, something like him anyway. I began this quest to ask my father his reasons. To drag him back to the past. Please. Kill my father. In his depraved state, he can only bring peril to these lands. This key opens Voletaria's mausoleum. Inside the mausoleum lies father's sword, the demon brand. Twin of Soul Brand. Use it to bring an end to his madness. No, no. No. He was one of my favorite characters. So we need to go to the mausoleum and get the demon brand and see what that does. I'm genuinely heartbroken. We kept him alive for so long and admittedly nearly killed him, but we, 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 we looked past that. Uh, thanks for reading. So where's the mausoleum then? It can't be ahead of us, surely.
Oh, wow. And notice that he was doing that to me. Oh, now we're here. We have to kill him again. Oh, I mean, I wanted his weapon and armor, but like, come on. The man barely made it up the flight of stairs before we killed him again. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> evil. Yeah, it was fucking evil. Best of luck to you. No, I don't... Like, if this takes me to the boss, I don't want it. I want to open the mausoleum so I can go and get this weapon he mentioned. But I don't know where that is. Beyond the archstone of the small king, apparently. Oh, do we have like a one boss fight to do? And then... Because I don't recognize that name. And hello, Sam. Sorry, I missed that. It is the final sprint. Yeah. I want to I wanna know if I have this teleport point or not. The small king. Let's, let's see if I can get a list of... Archstone of the Small King. What? It's one of the five Archstones. The edge of the castle beyond the Archstone of the Small King. There's False King Archstone, Penetrator Archstone, Tower Knight, Phalanx, and Boletarian Palace. There's no... Archstone of the Small King. It's in one one past a red eye night, apparently. It's just, uh, I don't like to pop videos on when I'm trying to stream, but I'm very curious about where this is. Right, so it is 1-1. One, one. Is it the Red Knight I'm thinking of? So you go on the roof and then there's... The Red Knight. Okay. I think I, I somewhat know where it is. My throat is terrible, but thank you for asking. I'm, like, not, the, like, I'm not unwell. I don't feel that awful. Like, I'm a bit warmer than normal. But outside of that, in the sore throat, fuck. Well, rip 77k souls. I forgot the dragon was there, if I'm being perfectly honest. It's like I've got a... Uh, a McDonald's chocolate milkshake. Oh, I can barely taste what's going on. Oh, the dragon definitely didn't forget I was there. I disrespected the dragon, and the dragon paid made me pay the price. I pulled the Danny basically. I just I just forgot the dragon was there. You know, it's easily done. Danny forgets about an Iron Fleet, I forget about Giant Blue Dragon. Oh, okay, well, he's yeeted himself out. We can work with that.
Feels so good to go back through an area in Dark Souls or Demon Souls or Sekiro. Anything that they've made, really. I'm sure Elden Ring will be the same. But, uh, feels so good getting to go back through these areas and just absolutely slapping the people that give you a hard time. Oh, yeah, you did. Literally just missed it. Um, I forgot a dragon was on the wall. As I was saying to uh, Sam, I pulled uh, an iron fleet forgetfulness tactic. How is your hangover? Yeah, I thought you might be. You were fucking trashed when we were talking last night. The chicken wings and chill kind of day, I think. Dude, you, you did a leveling with us. Like, me and Alan. You did, yeah. We got Titan, and you were adamant that you could tank it. So we let you queue as tank. And uh, you got about halfway through the fight. And you moved to the outer ring. You were doing the mechanics. So you're clearly better than most people when uh, like absolutely smash. But you did the mechanics. But I think you just walked too far on the second ring. So he knocked the platform down and you fell down. And then Alan basically went crazy sage mode and... Uh, I tanked it as a machinist. And backslap. Okay, I'm just going to check where else. Check uh, where else I need to go in this video. Oh wait, this is like a whole video on... Oh right, I've gone the wrong way. I didn't realise that the video reference I was using... It is the double doors I thought it was. You see where I locked out? <laughs> Probably in Limsa and you'll have like six cat girls waiting for you. And messages like, oh it was really fun talking to you last night, Teehee. You owe us, like, half a million gil. Feels like that's where I was yesterday. Oh, it's this one, yeah. you guys not? Like, I made the mistake coming this way. So I'll scat girls I'm poor, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Ugh. What a mess. Yeah, you were, you were very much sloshed. It's like, you messaged us and went leveling, and I was like, yeah, I'm down for that. And then Alan said something about Yu-Gi-Oh! And so I thought he was busy, and then he joined Discord. And then uh, about 10 minutes later, you you joined in and you did the leveling. Yeah. If, it, if, if it's any consolation, um, yeah, no, we, we definitely did it with you. Ah, uh, that would be it then, yeah. If it's any consolation, um... When, when you stream using OBS and Discord picks up that you've got OBS open, it puts you in streamer mode, which disables like a load of noises and notifications. One of those is um, the noise when somebody leaves a chat, like a voice chat. So when Sam and me were chatting after my last stream yesterday because I only did the one because I ended up with a migraine. Um, 
he obviously left and I didn't hear the noise because I was in streamer mode still. And uh, so I was just sat in there the entire time. And then I messaged the group and I'm like, hey, does anybody want to do a leveling? And Ryan's like, yeah, I'm down. So, you know, I was like, right, I gotta go sort the cat out. And like, I was getting frustrated about a few situations, obviously. Like, every time they pop up in my mind, I'm just like, that's such a fucking stupid thing. Like, what the fuck? So I was, like, talking to the cat, talking to myself. And then uh, I checked my phone and looked at Discord and saw Ryan was in the Discord chat. So I was like, oh, okay. I right, just pop the kettle on. Made a cup of tea, sat down, and then realized that I was already in the chat with Ryan. And it's because, obviously, I never left. And then at, <laughs> Ryan's like, I just thought you were on the phone. And then I heard you talking to your cat. And it's just like, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm there like proper raging about a load of things in the background. He's like, I thought you were in a phone call, mate. mate. So I just muted myself. Hello there, Ninja Dog. It could be what I sound at 50. It could also uh, be what I sound like if I smoke 50 a day. I'm kind of tempted because I don't mind the way it sounds. Prepare thyself, brave knight. Okay then. I want his sword, man. Oh my god, what? Don't die. I just, no pressure. Yeah. He's taking no damage. Oh, hang on. My weapon's kind of not in a good state right now. That might not be helping. Oh, no. It's definitely not that. That's not the problem. I don't have any resins with me, I don't think, either. Okay. You need to resolve. <laughs> cool. I mean, this works. Wait, he's got... Has he got life regen or stamina regen? He's on the offensive now. Well fought to have impressed one such as me, young knight. I am old King Doran, and thou hast proven thy strength. Oh, okay. To me. I thought we were gonna like actually kill him. Step but... forth and take the king's sword in thy hand. No, I don't trust that. I thought he was going for the backstab then. He's like, yeah, you just yeah, you've You've proved yourself to me. Just uh, turn around, take the sword, and I promise to not stab you in the back. My phone just fell out of my pocket. Smooth. Ah. Okay. Well, I only just found this out as well recently that you can send to storage from here. Can't send these because I've got the max. And there we go. The demon brand. Like, cool. I thought uh, this mausoleum thing was going to be bigger and like a whole separate area. I didn't realize it was literally just this. We have the oh no we don't have the stats looks like we need faith 
But they said he said to use it against his father before he apparently kills himself. I looked on the thing. He doesn't actually just die. He just kills himself. Yeah, I'm hoping to get this equipped in one hand. Okay, well that's that's that sorted. I imagine it makes the fight easier in some way, like the the Storm King weapon. Ah, we never actually came down here and got the uh, the crossbow and its bolts. Cheeky backstab. A little swipe. Now there is an area around here that I've always been curious about. I'm in soul form, so uh, not soul. Yeah, soul form, isn't it? We don't have any humanity. I wondered if we can survive this this drop somehow with like the cat ring. I mean, it looks like there's like a set of stairs we could potentially roll onto. Why have I got the flame resistance ring on? Oh, the dragon, of course. Yeah. Uh, right, cat ring. Bad time for falling down. I'm assuming not then. That looks like a long way down. Maybe? Oh no, it's an insta death. Well, now we know. I mean, it kind of looks like with the wisps and stuff that you can roll down there, so I thought it was worth a go. Anyone asks, it was just a quick teleport back to that. The main reason I was trying to figure out what that was is because there's all this over here. Can you not? I'm trying to store it, like, tell a story. Like, uh, yeah, like, there's all that stuff over there that I want to get. I'm not sure how you get it, because I thought maybe you could vault off the wall over there, but that doesn't seem to be it. And there seems to be a wall, like a hill, that leads us down to there. And I mean, we're at the final, quote, final boss of uh, this section now, I think. I think we just go to the King's Tower and see see what we can do. Might hang on, what where's our stats? Uh it's the screen, isn't it? Well, our strength's 18. Oof. I was hoping maybe I could get a couple of quick levels. We have the statistics except for the faith on that one, so. Might try and grind some souls. I didn't drop anything this time, which is interesting. We killed the phantoms that were here, by the way. We got some classics, like the tower shield. In fact, I didn't send the tower shield back, did I? I must have done. Oh, and I got these as well. Send those to storage. Remember, there's a few tricky gits in this next dream. There's like a crossbow and somebody that pings, uh, someone else in here that throws, uh, the throwing knives. 
There might not be a falling attack in this game, but there's certainly a run and stand on somebody's head damage kind of game. We cleared this room a lot easier than last time. I'll give, give myself that. Now, there is a blue dragon that sits out here. And I did hit it with some arrows. So we can kill it, but it seemed, what, like seven damage a time? And it didn't seem to do much to its health bar. I assume this will just force him to run up to the side of the building instead. Just in case we get nipped by this. So I know he will flame this platform here. And then he flames it again. And then we run. We'll flame down the left hand side. Then we need to keep running because otherwise he'll flame directly below him. So that much I learned. Ah, uh, is there a trophy for killing this boss with the demon weapon? I feel like, given that we just got told to go get that thing and use it to defeat his father, it kind of feels like we should uh, maybe be using it for a trophy. slow ascent to the boss. You know what? I think it's risky, given that if we die here, we can affect our uh, our world tendency, which is quite difficult to get up. But, oh, excuse me, should have yawned into the mic. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. Oh, it's definitely the other half of the sword look. I hope uh, Man at Arms or someone takes on the creation of these two swords. I think he's like a gunbreaker or what? Oh, yeah. It's got a really big gap closer. That's got to be like an AoE attack, right? That's getting wider. That's a huge AoE. Seems to go a little bit longer than. I'm be very careful with this guy so far. I love the animation on that attack, to be honest. Okay, so... It's very hard to read, I'm finding, personally, anyway. Ah, I thought you'd do something like that. Okay, big AoE. Just in case that animation does affect me. Okay, 
so he does not like back attacks in the slightest. Oh. Oh, that's a grab. Nasty, nasty looking grab. Who needs the stamina to roll out? Not this guy. chances. bad we didn't kill him with the weapon we were told to kill him with but i feel like we'd just be going back and forth throwing that like weird light stuff to back and forth between each other how did you defeat my demonic reflection how many souls might you have devoured i wonder the rest is up to the old one if it is to be then you shall be beckoned Oh, before we do anything like that, we should probably invest in uh, leveling up with these souls. I don't know what that red thing on the floor was. I'm kind of concerned about going near it. Okay, that's kind of badass. Nice. Hark, I hear a voice of yore. The old one calls for you. Let us proceed below to its lair. Wait, wait, have I screwed myself? Have I now committed? I hope we can go back. I just wanted to level. Please tell me we can go back to the Nexus. There's so much I have to do. Off stream, obviously. I want to go collect like the other rings, potentially some miracles and stuff like that. I have a feeling that I'm now stuck down here. What on earth is that? Well, now we know who ate all the souls, Jesus. So we throw a firebomb in its mouth and it's GG or Old One, I have granted thy wish. A new demon. Come now, be good. A 
really hope I've not screwed myself here. She seems like she's kept a nice pet. Oh, thank Christ. I want to have a look around this little desert-y pit here. We've got 80k souls. I need to... I want to invest those. just kind of feel like there would be something out here. Yeah, basically, I, like, I wanted to get uh, some kind of save, say, like, uploaded to my PlayStation Plus before we commit to anything endgame, so, like, I can finish the game on stream and then pull my save down and then do the rest from there. Definitely need to repair everything. Come back alive. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kinda I'm gonna have a quick Google. I do not wanna lock myself into uh what's it called? Like uh, an end game. Point of no return, PS5, Demon Souls. Oh my god. There isn't really one, but if you killed the last boss of all worlds, you can't level up until New Game Plus. So I think, I think this is it. I think this is the point, uh, point where I need to back up my save. Well, that's uh, a plot twist I didn't expect. Great. I'm going to have to hope we keep these souls. Oh, I can always invest them in other stuff. I want to go get some different boss weapons and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to quickly um, back up my, my demon soul save. Still not used to this menu. Apologies for this. I didn't expect that to be so soon. I mean, we're only an hour in. But it, it felt like we were coming to a close with it. If we do finish Demon Souls before, you know, 4 p.m., I will just switch to, to Pokemon. And then I'll probably bring Demon Souls back when I'm ready to do New Game Plus. Why am I looking at media? Wow, I have not uploaded to the uh, PlayStation Plus for quite a while by the looks of it. So upload to cloud storage. It's uh, Hmm. I'm trying to think what the easiest way to 
stop it from also downloading my saves. Maybe you have to do it manually and I don't see an auto upload. Let me just double check that as well. This will obviously get cut out in the VOD because nobody needs to do any of this. I should have looked this up, but I genuinely thought we had a load more content left. Uh, settings storage apparently. Apparently there's supposed to be a setting in here that does it, but I can't see one. There's a game data tab in settings. There we go. I wish people would... Like, uh, because there's an option here, right? Aut automatic upload. It's disabled for PS4, but there isn't one for PS5. I'm just going to roll the dice and hope that that's it. I really hate when you, like, Google a problem. Like, uh, I'm, I'm looking at one here, right, and it's how to turn off cloud save on PS5. Hey, how do I turn off this? First comment, why would you want to turn it off? Second comment, why would you want to turn it off? Right. He's not, like, answer the question or don't respond at all. Like, don't get frustrated at somebody wanting to do something. It's their choice. Cloud Storage Sync requires automatic updates to be enabled. I think I have that applied. Uh, I can't remember where that one was now. Is it Storage? No, that's where we just were. System. We had the option before, didn't we? And I've like this here, isn't it? Recommended turning those off. Okay. Okay, right, I think I think that's gonna do it. If not, well, what are you gonna do? It's just gonna be another run on top of new game if I have to. If I can, that's that's just something I've not looked at. The main reason I'm trying to do it is so that I can revert back and then go get the stuff I've missed offline, prep for new game plus, and then throw myself into that. Well, here we go. Interesting. So I tagged a bunch of, well, I added a bunch of hashtags to my tweet. And, uh... Like, somebody responded saying, that is pre uh, pretty. But it's like, no pictures or anything on there. Oh. What? I thought that's how you got back down there. Sorry, you can't show me a cutscene of me being pulled into the abyss like that. 
and then go, lol, no, that's not actually how you get down there. Oh, but you've got the bonfires. There's no point diving down there again. So bizarre. Oh no, send to storage because we never know when we're going to need that. Send that to storage given that we're never going to be able to use that in the capacity I wanted to use it. Oh, we're really like over encumbered with all this sort of stuff, I thought. You'd need way more than that. Well, we're gonna go store a load of stuff. Does my stored stuff carry over? I imagine it has to, right? Because like, that would be bloody awful. It's like, nope, sorry, you can only take the five things that you're most concerned about back with you. burdened. What the hell is burdening us? Is it all our grass? Cool. Right. It's enough faffing about. Let's uh, go back into human form. Ooh, that was close. That was Do we actually have any other resins that could be worth trying against this boss? I think we do, do we? Will not look that way. Right, so let's not yeet ourselves in that giant hole again because apparently that's death but it's also the method of transport that we had to lead us down to this bloody place all right what's around the corner nothing right well i hopefully backed up my save okie dokie Give it a go. You never know what it's going to do. Surely you have seen for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world. But God is passive and so created the old one. The poison to the poison. The old one will feed upon our souls and put an end to this. I love how the subtitles go over the boss HP. Really useful. Don't you understand? No one wishes to go on. 
I mean, I relate to that when I wake up most mornings, but like, you know, we fucking get on with it. That's the soul brand. Is that it? Were we supposed to either like choose to kill that thing or just walk through that gate? Why not? Oh wow, okay, jeez. Wasn't expecting him to do that. One senses a new and powerful demon by its side. And before long, the world will be engulfed by the deep fog. Bring more souls. And with that, it's over. I thought, I, like, you know, I couldn't target her. So, I figured I'll slap her and see what happens. Because obviously in Dark Souls and Demon Souls games, there's always two endings. At least. So, I figured this was going to do something, potentially. But this has been a really fun game to stream. 72 deaths, I would argue, is not that bad. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Certainly with the way I was playing in some streams, that's for sure. Definitely, uh... Definitely improved over the years. Just looking forward to Elden Ring now. It's only, what, 19 days? 19 days to try and get a plat on this. GG indeed. We did it. I gotta say, I think I enjoyed this more than Dark Souls 3. And Dark Souls 3 was arguably my favourite, like, Souls title. Yeah, I'll, t I'll definitely take under 100 deaths. And the music is phenomenal for the uh, credits here. But that final boss thing was kind of underwhelming. That's a sad message. Well, it's, it's like a heartfelt message would be the best way to describe that. But I'm glad that developers will take the time out to to put these sorts of things in the credits. But yeah, we did it. It's over. On to greener pastures, I guess. And we'll skip. So we have a soul of the old one and a red eye stone. And suddenly, we begin anew.
new game it is. Right. Game's completed one. 19 hours isn't bad. I would I would say that 19 hours is a pretty solid Souls experience for me anyway. Let's, uh, let's just download our save and see what happens. Or rather see... Oh, I really hate this menu. Thirteen oh nine. Yep, okay, it looks like we saved it. Oh, the irony in those words. Yep, so I think we managed to not overwrite our save there. You know, I'm waiting for the comments of, Oh, save's coming! But, what are you going to do? I've done it for a reason. I wanted to finish the playthrough on stream. And then I wanted to go back and try and do some of the stuff I haven't done. And then I'll bring it back for New Game Plus. Because I think I've really enjoyed this one. Let's just double check that we are... ...re-slapping the, uh, the Firekeeper equivalent. And taking the old one's soul for ourselves. Yep. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Looks like that worked. Brilliant. So now we can worry about trying to craft some of the boss weapons if I need to. I think some of the miracles apparently require certain boss souls. Uh, the only issue I've got really is that. I can't level anymore, so I can't. I plan to bequ my credit and be with Saint Urbain. You can hear the. Uh, like I can't buy any of the spells from the vendors they because they're all us. like, oh, get like yeah. I'm not going to talk to you because you're not of the faith or you're not intelligent enough. So that's unfortunate. What do you want? I have no use for. Animal like this guy here. <laughs> Wow, 340 souls. I thought he'd at least drop something. Just curious to see now what happens. Wow, storied warrior. where they drop now. So he drops a ring, so I need to figure out how to get that normally. He drops Hands of God, which by the way is a... If you kill the Dragon God whilst you've got the Hands of God, it's an achievement trophy. So she doesn't drop anything. drop anything. Oh, no you do. So, oh yeah, okay so you've dropped another ring. Oh. So I was just very curious to see what they drop because sometimes characters can drop uh, miracles, others might, you know, in other games I think you could drop miracles or certain weapons. Ah, oh well. Alright, so download the console. Yep, because we obviously don't want to have that save where I just brutally murdered everyone. So that, I think, is it for Demon Souls now. 
I'd like to uh, thank everyone that has popped in along the way and uh, has helped out along the way, obviously. It's been a hell of a run on Demon Souls. I'm always, uh, always thankful uh, for all of the help I've received from like Ninja Dog and Unicorn and a few others that have popped in and out. My brother Matt as well, he's given me a few tips. Alan gave me quite a few bits of knowledge as well. And uh, I apologize if, if I forgot anyone. But yeah, I'm going to end this stream. I'm going to go set up for Pokemon. And then we'll we'll just stream Pokemon until 4. Uh, I'm going to say, like, take a quick 15 minute break to get that set up. And then I'll be live again. And then, yeah. We'll smash through some Pokemon. I do want to try something in there. Like, I think I might have a way into the volcano early. I'm not 100% sure, but there is seemingly something you can do in the game, which I hope ha I haven't had patched out yet. So yeah, I'm going to go set up for that. Thank you all very much for joining me on this journey. And yeah, I'll see you in about 15 minutes.